Here is the famous uh, IBM uh, molecular or element uh, atomic movement. Uh, now, the history of the science of nanomaterial is very long. Uh, it's about uh, 6,000 years. The first picture is uh, the ancient cup. I, uh, name is, I forget the name, is uh, Likugas, Likugas cup. The left hand side is from the light, is from the outside. Uh, the color is like green. And on the other hand, the light from the inside, uh, the color uh, became the red. This uh, sensitive change of color is effect of the nanoparticle. The right hand side of this picture is the stained glass. Stained glass is also the uh, colloid of the nanoparticle, effect of nanoparticle. This is from the uh, Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. I, I have been the last years in here. And uh, another example is uh, here is the nano uh, crystal, crystal of uh, metals. Of this type is uh, chromium. And now in the present state, the nano material science focused on the fluorence is the carb carbon um, network. This is also a uh, famous uh, diamond structures. In the first uh, human uh, discovered the such kind of uh, circles, carbon 60s, fluorine. And uh, after that, the, we uh, uh, applied to the, extended to the carbon nanotube, CNTs. The CN CNT has uh, such kind of uh, picture, uh, st structures, and uh, some, this is uh, aspect ratio. So this is the overall of the recent uh, his uh, history of uh, nanomaterials. And that is the, uh, historical uh, explanation uh, from the by year of years. It is interesting to that about uh, 50 years ago, Feynman's, there is a Feynman's speech. Feynman said that after the, his uh, Nobel Prize uh, that his, he is a special uh, theoretical physicist um, discovered the uh, electrodynamic systems quantum electrodynamics. But after that, uh, he, he, he has uh, many interested to the many field, uh, biologies or uh, uh, literatures or uh, some computer science. So he said that there is a plenty of room at the bottom. This means that the tip of the uh, uh, nanomaterials is that it, uh, much information space. So the 50 years ago, the five months dream becomes the real uh, situations. <laughs> now, here is the scale of things. Of course, nano is the uh, pre -op option of the uh, meter. Nanometer is the 10 to the minus uh, ninth meter, so the, the fear, a few years ago, several few years ago, over 10 years ago, uh, we, our interest focused on the micro meters. Now uh, it's downside to the nanometers. The nanometer is around here, so it includes to the DNA from the biological systems of uh, uh, atomic uh, scales. This is a silicon. So micro meter systems, there is uh, some functional uh, effect of the bodies. This is the uh, red blood cell. 
In the right hand side, uh, the biology and uh, science and technologies. We can find the it's a zone plate X ray lens, the um, artificial uh, systems becomes to the forecast to the using the focus of the X rays. X ray has a similar long storm wave length, so the nanometer uh, artificial technique it should be used to the uh, several uh, treatment of the X-ray region. And then as here is the carbon nanotube or flarens. Some materials produced is inside the carbon nanotube. They are show the uh, very strange or new uh, phys physical properties. So more than the bulk materials. So in the field of nanomaterials, our basic physics uh, construct, already constructed to the bulk materials or periodic systems should be changed. This is a typical uh, photo uh, from the top-down examples. For the produ production of nanomaterials, there is two categories. First is the top-down, and the second is the bottom-up. Uh, that is very <laughs> typical for the government or some organization of our societies. But in the case of the top-down, uh, uh, STM chip, very thin chip, uh, make the uh, atoms control to the atoms uh, as you like. So this is a uh, Example of the IBM companies, uh, and uh, here is the sharp uh, needles, the more focused zoom up, the, that is the very uh, sophisticated structures by the silicon. Another is the bottom up. Systems. Bottom systems, the cluster, uh, crystalline uh, pro, uh, uh, generated, generated the uh, automatically. Is, uh, that is the photo, and uh, here is the transmitted electron microscopy. Here is uh, just the model. The model is from model is from the constructed for the this these photos. The, for, um, maybe this is the plat, uh, platinum or some um, metals of uh, the um, stable stable uh, metals. It's, uh, ah. Gold palladium, gold palladium. Gold or palladium and platinum is very stable, so that it is very uh, useful to the uh, making the nanomaterials uh, because of without uh, any uh, chemical reactions of the or near the chemical species. Now, nanomaterials productions. I show you uh, the top-down material, uh, how, uh, top-down procedures. So that is the AFM, AFM chips is uh, controlled to the some nanomaterials on the uh, gold substrate. This is also the if, uh, if merit of the stable metals of gold substrate substrate. And some photo is around uh, here is the uh, uh, like here is the uh, CNTs, carbon nanotube. Carbon nanotube, how to make the carbon nanotube. Uh, the, the simple way to the carbon nanotube productions is uh, adhesive tape uh, 
put on the graphite and remove. So there is a clear carbon nanosilk. So uh, that is very simple. And another uh, production is a more sophisticated, uh, some chemical, using the chemical reaction or something. Now, uh, how important of the nanomaterials for the basic physics? So our basic physics, solid state physics, is developed by the periodical system, periodical uh, systems, uh, and uh, change to the uh, K space, wave, uh, momentum space. So the 3D. 3D space is uh, very uh, conventional for the bulk materials. Of course, the, in the nanomaterials, the, there is a 3D systems, but a bit very small, uh, no more periodical systems. But another one is uh, two-dimensional. We say the low-dimensional physics, so the two-dimensional, one-dimensional, something, and the two-dimensional one. So uh, in this case, the uh, physics, physical properties over some electric uh, properties are quite, uh, quite different from the 3Ds or bulk system. For 1Ds, it's a straight nanorod. This is also very special, only the electrons goes, uh, uh, electron current it goes to the one direction. And the final one is zero dimension. Zero dimension is a very mm, difficult to uh, identify, but uh, it's some very small part of a molecule, small molecule. So here. After the uh, latter part of this talk, I introduced to the terulium nanoparticles. Terulium has a completely one-dimensional system. It's a three kind, three hold. Uh, ch chain structures are the interesting uh, physics properties. And the bismuth. Bismuth is also the interesting the two dimensional system. Of course, the bulk systems, the two dimensional seat is stacked and make the three dimensional uh, bulk, but there are some electric properties uh, controlled or governed. governed by the, these two-dimensional systems. So or such kind of two-dimensional or one-dimensional systems, how is changed to the nanomaterials? Of course, the, the bulk materials, there is a clear one-dimensional over two-dimensional, but uh, I, we don't know the how to change to the several nanoparticles. Here is the property of bond. The, I showed already the stable metals, very small. Uh, it's a gold, copper, platinum, silver, aluminum. The, as a function of stiffness, as a function of uh, uh, particle diameters. So the diameter is, has increased. Uh, no, no, decreased the stiffness. Uh, oh, I'll show you the more accurate, more accurately, I checked the uh, I'm sorry, this is the uh, ratio of the bond length. So the, this, uh, of course, the smaller particles, the interatomic bond length. Interatomic bond length is degrees. For aluminum, the degrees is the more uh, strong. I show you, the, I show you after the silver systems, 
our experiment, we discussed our experiment state. And uh, this is the model of the uh, potential, interatomic potential. The bond length of the Ohmstrom and the potential energy. Typically, it has uh, some kind of such kind of uh, potential curve, and the more uh, smaller particles, the bond is stronger and uh, distance becomes shorter. Uh, this is also the bulk metals. Uh, this is the uh, experimental result. Uh, another one is the uh, chain structure. And from the exhaust analysis, uh, the temperature dependence exhaust analysis, we can determine the such kind of potential curve. Uh, the latter part of uh, my talk, my lectures, I introduced to the, this uh, kind of uh, analysis. So oh, this is a model calculation of the strong, strong strength of the uh, interatomic distance. In this case, the interatomic distance is uh, bond, bond strong is very strong. Bond is very strong, so the one change is produced. But uh, in the case of the this. Uh, pattern, uh, no more uh, bond uh, in the very small part, uh, small particles. This is a very typical uh, properties of the nanoparticles. Another one is the second uh, application application of our nanoparticle is the mechanical properties. Here is uh, some metals, palladium, copper, silver, iron, something. Uh, it's more hardness. Hardness is. So the, uh, this function is the inverse of the uh, diameter of nanoparticles. So the smaller particles become the D inverse seconds. So is increasing. The smaller particles, the hardness uh, becomes larger. This is the same properties of the strongs of the bond length. Bond length is a these microscopic pictures. This hardness is a macroscopic pictures. But the uh, uh, tendency is uh, similar. Smaller particles in the strong bond rings, shorter bond rings, and uh, st uh, large hardness. On the other hand, some uh, compounds, for example, the semiconductors or some alloys, uh, there is no uh, tendency of this type of uh, particle size. Now, uh, in the present stage, the computer simulations can be uh, applied to such kind of the nano car carbon nanotube. It's uh, pressed from the up and top, up and uh, bottoms. Uh, the distortion of the uh, carbon nanotube becomes uh, like that. And another interesting part is the uh, electric properties. As you know, the, this is the uh, electric diagram of metals. The valence band and the conduction band is here, and uh, that is the uh, uh, atoms. For semiconducting materials, the, some, some several band gap is appear and the conduction band and the balance band is here. The conduction band is balance band. The density of state is the uh, important uh, 
physical properties, electrical properties measured by using the X-ray or um, the X-ray photo emission. So uh, you can, you are already discussed the, the quantum mechanical uh, text. Uh, Three-dimensional one is the density of state becomes uh, the increasing like that. For the two-dimensional systems, it's a stepwise step uh, function. So uh, one-dimensional one is uh, some discrete values. The energy is uh, quantized. Of course, one-dimensional or a zero-dimensional or a molecule or some um, confinement part, confinement state, state uh, is uh, com completely uh, discrete body of energy. In the nanomaterials, it's complicated to the mix of these state. Of course, the uh, electric device uh, for this is con can be controlled to the nanoscale uh, length. So the voltage of this uh, some try this transistor uh, to changing to the uh, other function of uh, voltage the magnetic properties is also interesting to the materials become the nano state here is the uh, magnetic domains of the rather large, larger systems. The magnetic domain is, should be the, like that, and the surface domain is, is here. So after that, the external field uh, applied, so the, these magnetic uh, domains moving <coughs> ins inside the materials. And more signal, more signals, the magnetic domain becomes simple, simpler here. So more, more signals, the, only the single domains is appears. These curves are efficiently uh, studies by the Charles Kittel, the famous physicist of the, written by the solid state physics. That is another uh, explanation of the magnetic domains. So the, here is a uh, magnetic hysteresis curve of, of the, some nanoparticles. For larger particles, uh, in this case, the radius D is uh, 10 nanometers. It shows the very uh, normal hysteresis curve, very high high uh, magnetizations and the small uh, coercivity, uh, coercivity. And the particle size becomes smaller and smaller. The magnetization becomes smaller and uh, coercivity becomes larger. This is the example of the, this function. Diameter becomes smaller uh, magnetization becomes larger. No. Uh, coercivity. Coercivity becomes larger. I'm sorry. And uh, diameters become smaller. The saturation magnetization, the effect of magnetic systems, becomes smaller. This is also interesting uh, uh, systems. I show you the, some application of uh, iron chromium uh, multi layers. Uh, we study is that this type of uh, uh, as a function of uh, layer, layer thickness and uh, magnetization or uh, coercivity. Of course, course this coercivity or magnetization control to the some um, magnetic recording systems.
Another interesting property is optical properties. Here is the colors of the systems, red from blues. These are all uh, colors from the metal nanoparticles. Here is, is the silver spheres, and the gold spheres is a gold rod, and the silver plate or silver uh, cubes. The, which depends on the length of diameters or shape of the uh, metals. So very, very uh, interesting color shows. Uh, this is the origin of the uh, stained glass I show you uh, the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris. Uh, that is, uh, of course, ions, but uh, several color is presented. The origin of this ch color change is from, comes from the plasmon excitations. The plasmon uh, is excited by the uh, wavelengths of the such kind of uh, visible uh, electromagnetic waves. So I show you the, uh, and the, this plasma excitation is very important to the electron uh, mean free pass of the X ray spectroscopies. So I show you the, the lot of lectures. Uh, electron mean free pass calculation from the, uh, this plasma loss spectroscopy. It's very uh, beautiful colors, it, it changed. And uh, the type of uh, uh, colors, this kind of color is very stable because the silver, gold, uh, some, uh, all, <laughs> there is only silver, gold. The stable, uh, uh, chemically stable uh, metals. So it's the application of this uh, color is the paint, paint of the uh, cars. The red car or blue car, some is uh, very chemically stable. The second, uh, the, no, no. Uh, next, uh, some uh, property is the thermal properties of nanomaterials. The big panel is the diameter. Uh, the, uh, of course, that the diameter of the Material, uh, materials, particles, the smaller particles, it shows the smaller melting point, lower melting point. In this case, uh, this is the, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I check the, what material is this one? Ah, it is also gold, gold particles. In the bulk state, the melting point is a bit higher. Uh, it's uh, 1,300 kelvins, but it's lower than here, so several hundred uh, kelvins. But uh, it is interesting or strange uh, how to make the nanoparticles its property has been changed. The black line, black point is a melt span, span pro, uh, production. And cross is the ball milling or ball road uh, production. As a function of uh, diameters, so this type of the, uh, tendency is uh, similar to the, this uh, mm. ball milled production. I don't know the how to, uh, the, in the details, how the melting span is the, the larger, uh, show the higher melting point uh, for the smaller particles.
and next I show you the energy energy conservation. This is a simple. Uh, there is a, some chemical uh, reason to the, this type of the energy convergence. Just not just a simple uh, uh, diameter of the nanometers. So here is the titanium oxide, titania, titania, and uh, with the uh, gold nanoparticles. It shows the energy conservations uh, increasing here. Uh, the pattern of the this nanoparticles is uh, slightly different. And this type is the uh, silver, no, no, gold particle is here, and some chemical uh, species blocked and uh, stable, 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 stabilized to the, this. Uh, nanoparticles. In this case, the smaller particle shows the more uh, larger surface areas of the uh, in the chemical reaction field. So this is the effect of the uh, field of area of the chemical uh, reactivity. Now, this such kind of energy conservation is very uh, widely studied using the ICSAS, especially in Japan. Uh, the half of the Japanese researcher using the ICSAS is concentrated to the energy conservation. So, Japan uh, is uh, very enthusiastic to the keep the top of the uh, world uh, for this uh, energy conservation field. Historically, uh, the silicon solar batteries in Japanese uh, level of the silicon solar batteries is the top of the world. Uh, several, when I was a student, um, several 10 years ago, but after that, the Increasing the technical system is uh, down, goes down to the Japanese system, Japanese in, in Japan. So, another Koreans or USA or China is going up. And European countries uh, make uh, some new uh, techniques produced. It's very pretty, but uh, in this case, uh, for the, uh, this type of the batteries, of energy conservation batteries or uh, storage batteries, so Japan has uh, enthusiastic uh, studies. Unfortunately, uh, my study, is, my, st uh, my scientific field is not uh, such kind of batteries, so. Uh, I have not so made much money. <laughs> so the, my colleagues use uh, in the field of the energy conservation is a very big, has a big project, and uh, going to proceed to the, his, their studies. Oh. Now, lastly, si finally, I summarize all this. Uh, uh, physics of nanoparticles. That a part of the my lectures I introduced to the such kind of uh, uh, materials, nanomaterials. So the. I show you that terrorium and bismuth nanoparticles has a one-dimensional system in the bulk and a two-dimensional system in bulk. Uh, how change to the, in the nanomaterial, uh, nano, um, becoming nanoparticles. And the silver nanoparticle is very uh, famous 
is very typical because the silver or gold has, uh, is uh, chemically stable. So I show you the silver nanoparticles just changing the local structure uh, as a function of particle size or uh, another interesting uh, applications so the luminescent zeolite. This means uh, uh, nanoparticles, silver, uh, metal nanoparticles show the, some luminescent, optical luminescent. This is also the uh, application, social application from the nanoparticles. In the lecture five, I introduced to the electron mean free pass of the exas. Electron mean free pass is the uh, uh, electrons moving the uh, inside the particles. So it depends on the, uh, it is, has a relation between with the uh, plasma uh, excitation energies. And this effect, uh, this effect uh, to make the excess signal reduced. Another one is also, uh, of course, the optical properties. Uh, indium gallium nitride, uh, lithium emitted diamond uh, diode, is the uh, optical properties of the quantum confinement. The very small part, there is a clear uh, excitation level or luminescent level. That is the uh, origin of the green or blue uh, lasers. Uh, the Shuji Nakamura is a Japanese scientist. Uh, they had uh, uh, three, three Japanese scientists uh, win the uh, Nobel Prize. And another one is uh, mag magnesium borite. This is a kind, another kind of the superconducting. Also Japanese scientists uh, discovered of such kind of uh, metallic uh, superconductor. Final one is the, uh, I showed you the iron chromium multilayers. The example is the magnetic systems, magnetic uh, coercivity or magnetization depends on the diameter of particles, or in this case, the thickness of particles. Now I started to the, with the Russian group for this uh, simple systems. The Russian group discovered the condor-like effect of this uh, interesting multi-layers. And iron rhodium is also the application to the refrigerator, solid type of solid type refrigerator. Of course, uh, air conducting system or some uh, uh, refrigerators, we use a uh, gas refrigeration, uh, uh, press and extend, and press and extend uh, is uh, some dynamic properties of the gas. But in this case, the magnetization, magnetization change to the uh, entropy. So, so that's entropy is uh, uh, catch uh, to the uh, energy, thermal energies. This is the uh, expectation of the uh, next generation refrigerators. And the last one, uh, I show you the perovskite structures. This is the phase transition, structure phase transition. This is also the long studies, the famous materials, but uh, local structure, local structure, uh, mm. from the local structure, uh, there is a difference uh, between the XRs and XRD, X-ray diffractions. Uh, and the chemical reactivity of this type of uh, some simple materials. So from the exhaust thermal analysis, 
uh, we estimate to the potential curve of the bond uh, length, bond uh, chemical bond. I show you the how to uh, obtain this uh, this type of uh, potential curve. Okay, now uh, I finished my first talk of the application, uh, just the introduction of the physics of nanomaterials. If you have uh, any questions or comment, uh, please send me. Ah, zero dimension is a typical example is a molecule. In the molecules, the uh, one characteristic electrons is moving in the uh, systems. No periodicity. Periodicity is important. So periodicity is, uh, for example, the one-dimensional. So the, it's called the one-dimensional system. And uh, periodicity is the t becomes the two-dimensional. It's a two-dimensional system. But uh, in the molecules or uh, some confinement uh, space, the one electron is can be uh, existed. So that is a uh, zero-dimensional. But mm, that is difficult to distinguish to the how atomic part and the zero dimensional is the moving the electron moving the in the space. At, at atomic space is at, in atoms uh, no uh, moving uh, electron. Nano road, for example, nano road. Uh -huh. Quantum road. Quantum road. Any other question or comment? Uh, in this case, the uh, crystal growth, Gro crystal growth control to the uh, some smaller particles, but some kind, another kind of the. Uh, I'm not sure that in, uh, in, the, in the field of the using the biological system hmm. and some making a non-particle. Non, non, non hmm? Pardon me? Hmm. You mean the hot material? Ah, uh, M O O. Ah, this is a uh, some uh, cage cage molecule kind of here. Hmm. This is also chemical uh, uh, produ production. Molybdenum or tungsten has a very stable uh, state of this type of uh, uh, acid, uh, polyacid. Poly Ah, 
I'll show you the, the bomb, bond. Here? No. This one? Here? This one? Back. See? 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 Ah, electric state, electric on the density of state here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, I I'm sorry. I, oh. Zero dynamics, right? Ah. One? Ah. Fine. Uh, yes, uh, it's a discrete energy level. Ah, it's a confinement of the en en electron state. So it's uh, very close to the model of the atomic model. But as you see, the typical uh, 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 general, general explanation, explanation or typical explanation <coughs> for the atoms and uh, one dimensional, two dimensional, three dimensional, so the electron moving. Any good, good contribution? Add, uh. mm. Mm, no, so I have, I, have, <laughs> I have no idea of the. Your question is a zero comment or zero some example? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But the zero uh, category of the classification of the zero dimension dimension is a very uh, difficult and strange. So the, the hypothetical one, the confinement of the electron state. Okay, no more questions or comments? So next talk is uh, tom tomorrow, tomorrow morning. <laughs> we'll see you, to see, you, see you tomorrow and uh, discuss, continue. <laughs> if you have uh, any questions, personally, uh, I, talk, uh, I can talk.